mentoring youth using Ngoma dialogue, circle Ngoma Diche. Why is youth mentoring in school important? Kenya is a very useful country. 75% of the population is aged between 18 to 35. This is a great asset that must be given advice, that must be given direction, that must be given life skills. Failure to mentor this large segment of Kenyan population could have enormous economic, political, cultural and social consequences for the country. Mentoring helps youth set smart goals, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, time-bound. Mentoring helps the youth as they go through challenging life transitions such as adolescence when they are leaving for boarding school, first time they are leaving home or leaving for college. Secondly, Mentoring can help the youth deal with stressful changes such as an absent father, alcoholism, drug abuse, sexual abuse, incest, uh, which is uh, quite common but hidden in many parts of Kenya, early pregnancies and such like things. Finally, mentoring can help them in transiting to adulthood, joining the world of work, marriage and so on. Benefits of mentoring youth in school Mentored youth have fewer absence from school They have better attitudes towards family, home, church, school and other institutions Fewer incidents of fighting each other Less drug and alcohol use and even abuse And hence fewer cases of early pregnancy come on, come on, come on, More positive on. attitude towards the elder And towards helping in general so, However, youth mentoring programs in Kenyan schools is mostly adult-centered rather than youth-centered. What does this mean? Adults develop the mentoring program and hardly involve the youth. And which is the target group? They don't bring them in and ask, what are your challenges? What really do you think could be the solution to the challenge? Because the youth have their solutions. Hence, because they're adult-centered, the programs are not youth-friendly. They do not resonate with the young people. That means they are out of touch with the realities of the youth, the challenges that they go through, even the current youth culture. Thirdly, the programs are mostly conducted using chalk and talk method of teaching, which is a formal, non-participatory method of mentoring, uh, where the blackboard and the mentor voice are key. Talk and talk mentoring, the mentees sit passively waiting to be filled like empty vessels. Chalk and talk mentoring is non-participatory communication approach that is linear, that is vertical, authoritarian and non-negotiable. It valorizes English, which is a second language for Kenyan youth, at the expense of Swahili and the other indigenous language and tends to create negative communication climate. Let's understand what is a communication climate because it's very important in mentoring, in teaching and even in our relationship. It's a social tone of a relationship and involves the way people feel about each other as they carry out activities. It's the overall feeling or emotional mood between people. Communication climate develops by the degree in which people see themselves as valued and it exists among people in all kinds of settings. Two main types of communication climates, there is confirming, which is supportive, and there is disconfirming, which is defensive. There's also mixed climate, which is usually in the middle. Confirming communication climate. What is the characteristic? It promotes a positive communication climate by confirming the messages sent by others. It makes the mentees feel valued and the messages that are confirming some examples are you matter to me, the other one is you are important, you exist. When it comes to this confirming communication climate, like promotes a negative communication climate by failing to communicate or by not communicating effectively and in this case the mentees don't feel valued Confirming message say this, I don't care about you, I don't like you, you are not important to me, you don't matter. Christian climate is important as it can have an impact on how messages are received. And it is important for mentors, to teachers, educators, leaders to understand this concept so that they can promote a positive communication 
climate in the interaction with Maltese. I'm introducing Ngoma Dialogue Circle, which moves away from the vertical, linear, non-negotiable talk and talk mentoring. And what is uh, mentoring using Ngoma Dialogue Circle? It uses participatory communication approaches that are non-linear, horizontal, egalitarian, and negotiable. Secondly, it is youth culture-centered, where young people own the communicative processes of production that influence attitudes, perception, and communicative behavior in a society. So it does not valorize English and uses all locally available languages that include Ngoma. It creates positive communication climate. What is Ngoma Dialogue support? It's a modification of Goma cultural performances, which are local sites of communication or community come on, come on, come on, come on. dialogue. And opening of Ngoma is usually with a declarative statement. It can also be a prayer, it can be an utterance, it can be on to a song begun by one who makes a statement. Take a look. Secondly, Ngoma cultural performance has the call and response communication which is a widespread pattern of democratic participation this kicks in after the lead or the Chem Shangoma makes the utterance makes the declaration or begins the song take a look Then we have the Wachem Shangoma who motivate the masses to join in the cultural dance performance or the community dialogue as they move in a um, ringo or a circle. I did mentor a youth at SEK Cathedral Church in Poi using Goma Dialogue Circles. Take a look. Stop! Hapa hakuna kibofu hapo kwa huyu jama. Mukifanya haraka sio paka mngojane hakuna tena hadi acha nimfanye haraka mujipange jipangeni haraka haraka the whole idea of the activity is we are setting and achieving goals the train is like we are moving to our goals so the goals has to be specific measurable attainable relevant time bound but they are challenges and these challenges we make them aware one personal challenges that's why we have their hands tied at the back we also have the balancing of the balloon these are other challenges when you interact with others, especially significant others, teachers, parents in the village. And then you have the obstacles as you move around. There is the chairs, there is the corners you are making, which as you can see it's difficult for the train. These are socio-economic challenges. The balloon comes out of one of them, then they stop and start again. It just tells them in life you will fail and we learn through failures. So quickly reorganize yourself. Here now is the dialogue circle in action. Take a look. We are talking about friends, challenges to distract us from achieving our goals. Peer pressure. What are the, uh, the challenges from friends? So the whole Goma dialogue is youth culture center. They very thrive good, it. Very themselves. good. Now you're running the okay. class very well. Mm -hmm. Have a sense of ownership. Give examples of the drugs that are easily available. Yeah. Encouraged to okay. contribute or participate. Come on, come on, okay, come on, what are the drugs? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They have the solutions, they give the solutions. It's not the mentor. All right, who gives very good. Now let's start seeing how we can overcome them, okay? Overcome. Okay. To encourage the youth to know they can do it self efficacy. Let's get, what do you want to do in school? 
You want to actually be the best known in terms of smoking ban? Huh? What do you want? What is your goal in school? That to get an A in physics, to get an A in the whole aggregate. Just higher maths. What do you want to get? A in chemistry, okay? So I've tried for us to identify goals. They cannot be vague, they have to be specific. Very good. Now we have goals. Mary, continue. Do yourself, don't copy. That's a very good one. Remember, we are all born original, but we actually yeah, fall to peer pressure. pressure because we think you have to be somebody else. Being a doctor, you know that a doctor, which we have to be a doctor. That's how. Yeah. Here is a list they have generated of uh, what they think are challenges as they pursue their smart goals. Uh, some of the issues are disagreements, bad company temptation, low self-esteem, drugs. This is a list from themselves and not from the mentor, which means they can also find their own solution.